are near Belém, right? And it's weekend, it's Sunday, so there is this very cute Thai event that is uh, happening here in a park. It's always like this in Portugal, like during the weekends, the town and like different parts of the town are just full of cute events and cute parties and yeah, Portuguese people are very, you know, they like to socialize. <laughs> we also visited the town of Sintra, which is like half an hour away from Lisbon. We were there only for like an hour, but Sintra and its area is a place where you could spend the days. It has a lot of parks and castles and legends and fairy tales and narrow streets and small coffee shops and restaurants. Also, I think one of the nicest and the most authentic souvenirs I have seen in Portugal were in Sintra. Sintra and its area is a place where many famous authors and artists stayed. It is said that they were inspired by the beauty of Sintra and uh, its surroundings. We are on the westernmost point of continental Europe. of the weather. It's usually super windy over here, but today it's uh, exceptionally good. We are out in uh, in the main plaza here in Lisbon. My sister approved my photography skills. I show you the picture now. Now you can hire me as your personal photographer. Can you see? Approved, but I took a photography course when I was uh, younger, like oh, ten really? yes, like ten fifteen years ago. I was going into media camps. Okay. All right, but I think. Since there is like the fashion week now, they have the fashion shows like out there in the restaurant. For a very long time I didn't like Lisbon because I think I, uh, I just didn't understand the vibes of Lisbon, you know. But now we like Lisbon, yes, now I like Lisbon. I think it's a fun city. I think I could live here. Lisbon Fashion Bye. Week uh, 2024. I don't really understand fashion. Anyway, there is a famous uh, pink street in Lisbon where there are all the parties, but I think we are going the wrong direction. Wait, I put it into the maps. The last time I came to a party in Lisbon was like eight years ago. That was the first time I uh, came to Portugal and we were here on an exchange program for like one week and I remember that with my friend we went to a party. We came back home at like eight in the morning and at 8.30 we had to go to class. So it was uh, wild. 
that's my sister's vibe, pink. Like her nails. It's pink like my nails. My sister is obsessed with pink. I am the pink. She is the pink. If she was the color, she is pink. We were just talking about that uh, we never lived in a big, big town, in life. a big city. Like Lisbon to us is already a big city, okay? We come from uh, a village which has like uh, 2,000 people and the nearest town where we went to school has like, I don't know, 60,000 people. My sister wants to live in Istanbul, like that's her... Um, I don't want to, I will. She will. She is actually studying uh, Turkish, that's her dream, to move to Istanbul. We both love Turkey. I used to live in Turkey for uh, some time and now she works a lot in Turkey, so the day she moves there, I'm going to go there and... Uh, the day I move there is gonna be a happy day. The day she moves there, I'm going to be there a lot, whether she likes it or not. But I think what we like about like bigger cities is that there is always something to do, right? But uh, okay, I think if it would be, for example, like Mexico City, I didn't like Mexico City, that's like too hectic, or like Rio de Janeiro, that's too hectic for me and it just takes like too much energy away from me. It drains my energy. Yeah, it drains my energy. And... Uh, <laughs> you know how many people live in Istanbul? Like 20 million? Like 20 million. To me, that's probably like, uh, the, too much. Guys, just imagine, the whole Slovakia is like 5 million. Istanbul yeah. is like 20 million. Once the whole Slovakia is 5 million and Istanbul is 20 million. That's, yep. uh, that's huge. That's actually similar to, to Mexico City. I spent quite a lot of time there, so... Uh, yeah, it was not too much my vibe. So we are starting off good in Lisbon because it's uh, not that big. And uh, there is always something to do and there is always something going on. So my sister said like a really cool thing that there is a vibe if you want to find a vibe. Even if it's like Sunday or, or a Monday or Tuesday or like whatever, you know. Like the other day we just went out drinking on Monday tequila. We drank tequila on Monday. Who? You! <laughs> you drank the killer on Monday! <laughs> what? <laughs> I? I don't remember <laughs> this. Anyway, it was very in Ponta Delgada. Evet. Yes, ah, it was in Ponta Delgada, yes. We, we met up with some friends in Ponta Delgada and uh, I don't know what happened. It was just like a party mood. But Ponta Delgada is super small. It's like, uh, it has like 70,000 people. But yes, uh, it's a fact that we were still drinking uh, tequila on, on Monday. We don't even drink alcohol, by the way, like neither of us. I've never seen her drinking alcohol, actually. Maybe, I don't know, like one time in my life. <laughs> we wanted a cute picture with the tramway, but uh, that was a bus. 